Smoking. Key points. You can stop smoking. There are a range of supports and strategies to help you stop. Find one that you think will work for you. Different people quit smoking in different ways. Most people who have successfully stopped smoking take two or three serious attempts at stopping before they succeed. If you start smoking again after you have stopped, look on it as a valuable learning experience for next time. What got you started again? Be proud of yourself for trying and start getting ready for next time. Smoking will greatly increase your chances of developing the complications of diabetes. If you have diabetes and you want to stay healthy, it is very important that you move towards stopping smoking. The best known effect of smoking is that it causes cancer. But smoking can also aggravate many of the problems that people with diabetes already face, such as heart and blood vessel disease. Smoking-related problems include Smoking cuts the amount of oxygen reaching tissues. The decrease in oxygen can lead to a heart attack or stroke. Smoking increases your cholesterol levels and the levels of some other fats in your blood, raising your risk of a heart attack. If you are pregnant, smoking can result in an abnormally small baby and a higher risk of having a miscarriage or stillborn baby. Smoking damages and constricts the blood vessels. This damage can worsen foot ulcers and lead to blood vessel disease and leg and foot infections. Smokers with diabetes are more likely to get nerve damage and kidney disease. Smokers are more prone to get colds and respiratory infections. Smoking increases your risk of developing limited joint movement. Smoking can cause cancer of the mouth, throat, lung, and bladder. People with diabetes who smoke are three times as likely to die of cardiovascular disease as are non-smokers with diabetes. Smoking increases your blood pressure. Smoking can raise your blood glucose level. If you are male, smoking can increase your chance of becoming impotent. Why quitting is so hard? It's not easy to give up smoking. Chances are you've thought about quitting before or have tried to. To understand why it's so hard, and to develop ideas about how to go about giving up, it helps to understand the nature of smoking addiction. The addictive part of smoking can be divided into three parts. Addiction to nicotine. Habit ingrained responses, e.g. Always smoking after a meal. Feelings, particular feelings that trigger the urge to smoke. Some people are addicted in all three ways and some are not. If you find it really hard to give up, chances are you may have the lot. Nicotine Addiction Nicotine is one of thousands of chemicals in cigarettes. It's an addictive substance and causes most of the withdrawal symptoms you feel when you first stop. What else is inside cigarettes? Some of the other chemicals and heavy metals inside cigarettes include Acetone, paint stripper Ammonia, toilet cleaner Methanol, rocket fuel Naphthalene, mothballs Carbon monoxide, car exhaust fumes Cyanide, rat killer Toluene, industrial solvent Arsenic, rat poison Butane, lighter fuel DDT, insecticide Cadmium, car battery metal Two hours after you stop smoking all the nicotine is out of your system. The nicotine byproducts are gone in two to three days. Once the nicotine has gone, it's the addiction, the habits, and the feelings that make you want to keep smoking. It is often helpful to think of the withdrawal symptoms from nicotine as recovery symptoms. These symptoms include headaches, tingling of toes and fingers, irritability, habits, you have trained yourself into thinking you can't do some things without a cigarette. For example, coming home from school or work, craving. Work, school, family pressures, craving. After a meal, craving. Out with friends, craving. Boredom, craving. Alcohol, craving. Feelings. Feelings are also important. You may smoke when you are happy, sad, stressed, tired, or bored. You might also use cigarettes to cover up uncomfortable feelings such as when you're angry, embarrassed, or nervous.